Hello and welcome to another video in my crochet diary series. My name is Christine and I live full-time in a tiny off-grid cabin in upstate New York and my husband is currently living full-time in our camper out in Kansas City where he is working and that is where I am presently filming this video. on a lot of crochet projects lately and when I'm done with a project I usually just take whatever yarn is left over and shove it back into whatever yarn tote it will fit into and my yarn totes are starting to look a little scary right now so I thought that maybe I should take some inventory see what yarn I have what yarn I can donate and what yarn I should keep to work on other projects with. And listen, I'm gonna need you to keep your opinions to yourself, okay? Because you are about to see my yarn stash in all of its unorganized glory. All right, so the first place I have yarn is actually down here in this little cupboard under our, this is our like dining area. So I have a tote of yarn down here. Wow, I feel like you are all in my camper with me right now, like physically in my camper right now, and I did absolutely no cleaning for you. I didn't bake you cookies, I did no cleaning. It is, if you could see my floor right now, it's so embarrassing. It's honestly, it's absolutely shameful that I even let it get this bad. Okay. Um, oh, this, this yarn still smells like my wood stove from inside my cabin. I miss being in my cabin. All right, so in this tote, I have, this looks like mostly the Hue and Me yarn that I bought the day after Christmas. I am slowly working through this stash. So we've got, let's see, this is all Hue and Me. This is all stuff that I need to hang on to. One skein of 24 seven cotton. I'm gonna set this aside. I also have a skein of color theory I'm going to take that out. And then this random skein, I don't remember which brand this is. I bought this from a yarn shop out in Lawrence, Kansas uh, called The Yarn Barn. So I'm gonna pull that out of here for now. We've got more Hue and Me. I started doing something in there. Oh my God, I started making a shawl and then I ran out of yarn and I never went out and bought more yarn. So this, <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? Um, it was really, you know what guys, it was going to be so pretty though. Look how pretty this is. Should I finish this shawl? I don't even remember what I did. I don't even think I wrote this pattern down. And then I have a wine toad in here, which actually I should take this out. This is a wine tote that I made with hand dyed cotton yarn. Not, I didn't dye it. Somebody else did. And then I have a phone case in here. I don't know how that ended up in there, but I have a crochet phone case. All right. We've got a skein of this Cascade Superwash wool. Yeah, I'm gonna take that out. We have more Hue and Me, and then this skein of Woolies Thick and Quick. So I'm gonna leave all of this Hue and Me in here. I'm just gonna rearrange it so the colors are a little more, look at this, colors are a little more organized. Um, oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, so I have, this is all Hue and Me now with that one skein of Woolies, thick and quick. And then I have these four random skeins. So I wanna see what I have in my other yarn stashes and see if I can add, if it makes sense to add these to it or I'm just gonna put them up here for now. You know what, maybe I'll leave this out because I might end up adding yarn to this. All right, so there are two cupboards here. I have this top one, it looks scary in there. And then this bottom one I have, looks like I have one bag in there. So let's open these up and see what we've got. Okay, <laughs> that's my husband's handiwork up there, this pillow that's shoved in here. I need this for a crochet project and this was where he thought it would go. But anyway, this, this is me. I did put, I did just kind of shove these skeins up here. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. All right, we're just gonna put those in the 
Hugh and me bin. I feel like this is an appropriate place for them. All right, and then we have this. This bag ripped, like, look at this. It just came right off. So this should be fun. He's looking for something to get into. He loves it when my yarn is out. All right, so this is a pillow that I'm almost finished with. The only reason I have not finished it yet is because I have to film some tutorials for it. So I've left it unfinished on purpose because I need to go back and film them before I finish the pillow. Otherwise, I'm gonna need to make a whole new pillow and I'm not really interested in doing that. I don't have the time for that. And we have this poor thing that's starting to come apart. And I don't have my yarn winder out here. Uh, it's back at my cabin, so I just have to like be very careful with this. Very delicate. All right, so this is that blanket that I was working on that I showed you. This is all made out of Hue and Me yarn, but I feel like I'm gonna run out of room in that bin. So like, what do we do? Well, just keep, I'm gonna keep it in this bag. All right, here's my bag that I made. I showed you guys in a previous video. Oh, it's a little wrinkly because it's kind of just been like, <laughs> balled up and thrown in there. Fun fact, I am working on writing up the pattern for this bag today, or not today, um, this week. This week, it's on my schedule to, uh, actually tomorrow. I think tomorrow I start writing the pattern for this. So I'm really not sure what to do with this either. Um, we have a skein. This is 24 seven cotton. It doesn't have a label on it, but this that's what this is. Uh, ooh, oh, you can't really see it. Oh, there you go. So that's what this is. I have that other skein over there. So I'm gonna just toss this. I missed. I'm going to put the blanket pieces and parts back in here just because they're not going to fit in my in my hue and me bin. So these are gonna go back in here and this this these are attached, so that's gotta that skein has to stay with this. I haven't really gotten rid of any yarn yet. That was kind of the point of this, right? To try to like figure out what I have and see what I can get rid of. What am I going to do with this purse? I think I'm going to keep it with this for now. It honestly is probably going to just stay in this bag. There's more yarn up in that top one. <laughs> There's more yarn. I got to show you. But the thing is, is that yarn probably has to stay in there too. Whoops. I just lost my light. This is hobby yarn and I don't, wait a minute. We got a random, oh, this goes to my scarf. Oh, I got to put that, I'm going to toss that over there. I feel like this whole thing was pointless because I'm just taking out the yarn and putting it right back where it came from. <laughs> I do have another bag of hobby yarn and it's in, it's in this back room back here, but I'm actually going to start working on that yarn this week for a project. So y'all, I'm so jealous of everybody that has their yarn shelves and their cubbies and their yarn walls in their houses. Like this is how I'm storing my yarn because I only have that one plastic tote that you saw me open in the beginning of this video because everything else needs to be able to fit in these cubbies and they need to be like bags that can be like, you know, smushed and manipulated to like fit in small spaces. So, all right, we got another one. These bags are gonna be a surprise because I don't remember what's in these bags. Okay, so I have this Mighty Stitch Worsted from We Crochet. I have a couple, well, I have a few skeins of this. They don't have the labels, but that's what all of these. I need to donate these because I'm not going to use them as much as I love. I love this yarn and I love these colors. I cannot keep them because they're just going to continue to sit in the bag. So these are going to be donated. Next, I have this True Boo yarn, which I had plans for this, but we're not doing that anymore. So we're going to donate this one too. This is, what is this? Oh, this is Heartland. I think this is the Lion brand Heartland. And once again, this is the leftover yarn to my pine tree blanket right here. This is the yarn I use to make that. It's a really pretty color. But we're gonna donate this too because <laughs> I'm not gonna be using it. Oh, we got some more Hue and Me. I just have a, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's attached. Oh shit, it's attached to something. Here's some 24 seven cotton. I'm gonna put that with the donate pile. This, I started making a, str a striped blanket and I abandoned the project. So I'm probably just gonna put this in the Hue and Me tote. This seems an, like an appropriate, like I can frog this and reuse this. So that seems like an appropriate move. This yarn is locally, so I also got this from the yarn shop in Lawrence, Kansas. And this is from a local yarn dyer. I don't even remember what kind of yarn this is. Is this like a wool? And I feel like they wound it up super tight for me because look at that. Look how skinny that is compared to 
the yarn like in the center of the skein. Is it gonna stay skinny like that if I work with it? You can see that there's a difference, right? I was gonna make a head wrap with this. Oh, I don't know. Doesn't that look pretty as a head wrap? See, the reality is, is that I am booked for at least the next two months with projects, but it's not gonna take up that much space if I keep it. This was kind of expensive yarn too. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. I I'm not gonna get rid of it. But we have an empty bag. I can fill it with the yarn that I'm gonna donate. This big twist, my husband bought this because he wanted to learn how to crochet. He still wants to learn how to crochet, but it's been sitting here for months and he's never even gonna know. So I'm gonna donate it. This donate. Here's more 24-7 cotton. Oh, I love this yarn so much though. More 24-7 cotton. Oh, this is attached. Oh, wait, wait. This is attached to this. I was making a, a phone. This is a phone case that the person never paid for it. So I never finished it because <laughs> they never paid for it. So we're going to donate. We're gonna donate these empty yarn label okay we have color theory yarn we've got this color this green color got this blue y'all i love color theory yarn so much i'm going to find something to do with these all right so this is the i love this cotton from hobby lobby i'm gonna donate that more 24 7 cotton this is gonna make me sick i'm gonna donate this is more 24 7 cotton 24 7 cotton this is cotton uh the we crochet cotton it's that um yep yeah, this is their old label but that's what this is and it's so linty i actually i actually don't like this yarn because of that because it's very it's very linty it it's like velcro i never used this yarn but i love 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 this colorway but i'm gonna donate it because i gotta focus got sugar wheel cotton from hobby lobby two wait i got four hold on i got four skeins of this got a rainbow skein i have two rainbow skeins this one's a little deformed, but it's, it's, uh, it'll still work. So all of this, we're going to donate. Remember that shawl I showed you and I said I didn't have yarn to finish it? This is, this is yarn. This is the color. Well, maybe I'll finish that shawl now. <laughs> all right. I'm going to toss this over there. Let's see if I make it. No. I'm not very athletic. So I feel better now. At first I was starting to feel like this was counterproductive, but I, I think we made some progress. I have those random skeins of yarn over there and I'm just going to fill up one of these bags. All right, let's go put the other skeins in here. All right, so this is all of the yarn that I just pulled out of those bags that I am going to donate. And there's Wilbur. <laughs> Look at this mess I just created. All right, so we've got this color theory. Stick it in my bag. So I can just start taking all of these and putting them in my bag. So I can just start taking all of these and putting them in my bag. So actually these skeins of 24 seven cotton, I'm gonna go ahead and just toss them in the donation pile. This is what I have in this bag. One of my long brown hairs. All right, and then I did not show you these skeins here. This is the Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick. I am working on a scarf over there. Here, let me show you. Um, I've showed you this in previous videos, but I'm in the process of writing up this pattern and filming the tutorial for it. So it's going to live on this bench for probably the next couple of days. All right, and then we've got this Hue and Me that I found over there. I'm going to add that to this now cover that up whoops okay, so okay so i actually found an empty, a small empty laundry basket that I wasn't using that'll be perfect for yarn. So I'm going to show you. So I just got this shipment in from Hobby Yarn. I actually just made a yarn review video on this, so you may have seen it. Uh, but they sent me, I think there's 10 skeins here of this Udon yarn. And this, it's got broken handles, which is why I don't really use it for my laundry anymore. But this is perfect to store this yarn in instead of just keeping it in the hobby bag all the time. So I'm just gonna put that in, 
don't look at my messy counters. Remember what I said in the beginning. Uh, nothing, not a peep. This um, laundry basket I'm going to put in the back room over there because we do have some room on the bunk beds. So this room has kind of become a catch-all. I really need to get in here and organize this because it's honestly just embarrassing at this point. But that is where this basket of yarn is going to live for the time being. So that's my yarn inventory video, guys. Was that like so fun or what? I've been drinking these, um, here, I'll get in the light. These San Pellegrino Momenti, pomegranate and black currant. There was still some in there and I just spilled it on the floor. They are so freaking good, you guys. I drink an embarrassing amount of them every day. Well, this was fun. I felt like you all were in here, like in my camper with me today. A little embarrassing because of how messy it is. Maybe my next video, should my next video be like clean with me? Or would that be boring for you? But you can come over. You want to come over again and we'll clean and organize this mess? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know. If you if you want to come back over and we could do like a, a, like a camper cleaning, a camper organizing, definitely that back room. That back room needs some help. It's just become like the, what do you call it? Like a dump room. You know, when you don't know what to do with something, you just put it, ba you put it back there and you close the door. Problem solved. I mean, don't tell me that you don't have a place in your house like that too, right? It might not be a whole room like me, but it's a cupboard or a corner or something, right? I mean, everybody has that. Or maybe, I, maybe they don't. Maybe I'm the only one with, that doesn't have my life together. All right, well, now I'm rambling and I do actually have to start dinner for my husband. But thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.